Hi, I'm Jane Clark and I write stories and poems and I'm also a grandma. I've got four granddaughters and they're aged up to five. I'd love to be able to give them a hug and cuddle at the moment but I can't so I'm doing grandma Skype sessions. Now they're not altogether successful because sometimes frankly other things are going on and you just want to lick the iPad screen. So here I'm doing grandma on demand story time and I'm starting with um, the story called Far Fly Home and this is because someone on Twitter um, actually requested me to read it. So uh, hello Metal Mikey and um, Mickey? Mikey? Anyway, thank you very much for giving me a prod in the right direction to do this. And it's about fireflies and fireflies are really interesting little creatures. They're teeny tiny. I've got a puppet here from the puppet company and but what they do is they can make a flashing light out of their bottom and I've always thought that might be pretty cool to be able to do it but fortunately I can't so they flash to attract other fireflies and to show that they're there and I first saw them when we were in Lake Lure all together because two of my granddaughters live in the States and two live in the UK and we don't often get together but we did at Lake Lure in North Carolina and in the evenings we saw these wonderful creatures flashing in the darkness and they're really ugly when you get up close really tiny and ugly but they are amazing and in this book Brit has done such a brilliant job of making them look attractive. She is Britta Checkentruck, the illustrator, and these are glorious illustrations. So I'm so happy that she was able to do the text for this book. And the book is called Firefly Home. And the firefly in this story is called Florence. There's no place like home, and this special place is home for fireflies. Fireflies have a bright light inside them that shimmers and shines. But wait, one little firefly is missing. Here she is, all by herself. Her name is Florence. Say, hello, Florence. Hello, Florence. But poor Florence looks very sad. Do you think she's lost? Let's see if we can help her find her way home. But where shall we start? Oh, look, there's a bright light peeping through the trees. Could that be home? Let's turn the page and see. No. That's not home, it's just the big bright moon above the sparkling sea. Never mind, what are those flashes of light over there? Can that be home? No, that's not home, it's just a lighthouse shining out to the boats bobbing on the water. Now Florence has spotted a long line of moving lights. No, that's not home. It's just a train whizzing down the track. But the train's lights are so pretty that Florence wants to follow them. Say, fly faster, Florence, and flap your hands to show her how to fly really fast. So we flap them like this. Yay! Really fast. Hard to hold the book while you're flapping. Wow, that was fast. And look, where are we now? We're in the big city. And there are bright lights everywhere. But is it home? No, this isn't where fireflies live. Those lights are too bright. And where's Florence? She's lost again. Can you point to her? Yes, there she is. Let's quickly turn the page to help her fly away. That's better. Whew, this park is lovely and calm. 
but poor Sir Florence still looks very sad. She really needs to find her way home. Perhaps we need to make a wish. Let's wish on a shooting star. There are lots of shooting stars here. Close your eyes with wish and wish very hard that Florence will find her way home soon. Let's close our eyes. I wish, I wish that Florence find her way home soon. But wait, are they really shooting stars? No, they're fireflies. They will know the way home. Trace the bright firefly trails with your finger and say, fly, Florence, fly, to help her find her way. Fly, Florence, fly. All the way home. Your wish has come true. Florence is so happy to be home at last with all her friends. Whisper, night, night, Florence and blow her a good night kiss. Goodbye. I will learn where the octopus is.